Now, police in Denmark say six people have been killed in a train accident. It happened on the Great Belt Bridge. It connects the islands of uh, Zealand and uh, Finan. Uh, details are still coming in. It seems, according to some reports, that the roof of a cargo train blew off uh, in heavy winds during the rush hour, uh, hitting a passenger train that was travelling in the opposite direction. The bridge has been shut, uh, passengers evacuated. Uh, there were more than 130 passengers and three crew on board. Uh, let's uh, speak to somebody about this. The passenger train was travelling to Copenhagen. We can speak to Anders Kongschau, uh, a local journalist there. Uh, what is the latest information you have, Anders, about this accident? Well, the police are still uh, confirming, uh, still to confirm the six deaths, but it's probably because the families haven't been notified yet. But there will be a press conference at 12 o'clock local time. That's about 11 o'clock. In London. This, this is a this is a major bridge, isn't it? I mean, it's running for se several kilometres. Uh, any idea of, of the circumstances of what of what happened, or is that working theory about the train roof blowing off still the one that uh, investigators are going on? Oh, this is by far the most important bridge in Denmark. It's connecting east and west. It's about ten miles long, and the hanging bridge is about one point six miles long, and that's where the accident happened. And it was a Carlsberg uh, wagon filled with Carlsberg beers, where that actually, where the roof blew off and uh, and beers fell off, and, and that's what actually hit the train. Um, so it's 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 really serious. It's very not very often the the bridge is closed uh, uh, because it's so important. There's 10 million cars driving every year there. Nine million is personal cars, and then uh, at this hour, most of them are, are wagon cars because of the season. But so there's a, a line of wagons there right now. Uh, uh, so yeah, it's a it's a big accident here. And bad weather conditions hampering the hampering the operation. Yeah, well, the police there's a cry center being established on one on the food on one of the sides of the bridge and. It's, everything is being established right now, and, uh, and and people are getting notified, and 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 that's pretty much everybody's hanging there until twelve o'clock, and uh, just rescuing everything that's possible to rescue. There's a strong wind here, and actually the bridge was also closed for local traffic uh, during the night. Uh, all bridges here was pretty much closed, um, but then it was opened up at uh, ten thirty, nine thirty UK time, and then um, yeah, and that's then the accident happened. Uh, so it's very serious. Uh, that the, the kind of the trains that are driving under the bridge. The cars are driving. It's a four-track uh, motorway, and underneath the trains are driving back and forth. Uh, so, um, so yeah, it's connecting everything here. All right. Okay, and just with the very latest. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. You're watching uh, GMT on BBC World News.